Hello, it's Jack, and welcome back to another episode of Electrician Simulator. Right, in this episode, I thought what we'd do is do a quick uh, fixer-upper. So, this one. It's, uh, this one it is. It's Lexa, apparently, uh, and she's got a, a lovely tape recorder from the 90s, and uh, it's a bit broken, so she wants it, uh, it fixing. So, we'll accept that, and if you've never done this before, basically, you go to your workshop over here, and then the unit appears here. It's very, very straightforward, but I'll just try... Oh, sorry, let me just alter that slightly on the headset. Uh, you test the device when it comes in, and it obviously it's going to be broken. I always test it, first of all, uh, just in case it isn't broken. Yeah, broken, obviously. So that's cool. You can flip it around and all that good stuff, and you can move left, move right, up, down, all that. Yeah, so we're going to disassembly mode. Now, there is some tools you need to be aware of that you need to buy, right? And there's a screwdriver here. There's a soldering iron, and every time you use a soldering iron, the, uh, it uses up a percentage of, it, of its goodness, if you like. Tweezers, multimeter, and the same with this rust remover. Every time you use it, it uh, it takes yeah, it, it takes a percentage away, one percent every time you touch anything with it. I don't know why you need a specific screwdriver. You've already got one, uh, but anyway, you do apparently. So yeah. If you get stuck, you can hit on this tip here and it will tell you what to take off next. And look, all the little screws appear over here. So, uh, take off the battery cover, take out the battery. Now, generally, I, I always try and check the battery first and see if that's the only problem with it. But, yeah, really, it's generally a, a pretty more uh, complicated fix. And then you just basically do a teardown. This one's actually quite complicated in the bits and pieces you need to take off. So there's nothing wrong in using that tip there, okay, to, to see where the next thing is that you need to take off. If you do have these rusty screws like this, it's a little bit like car mechanic, if you've ever played car mechanic, where you've got WD-40, where you need to spray them all. Obviously, this is uh, going to be quite expensive because I have to, I'll have to buy some new uh, of that spray soon. Uh, then you just move it up if you can't see it, and there you go. Bob's your uncle or whatever and then move to the screwdriver and it tells you if you try and do something like if I try and get that it says you know you need a screwdriver which is quite quite handy and then as you're taking all these bits and pieces out the screws obviously appearing over there uh, but then all the bits that you're taking off are appearing in this basket over here uh, and yeah so th this this can take some time but what I'll do is I'll just strip it right down to the bare metal and I'll be back shortly so bear with me so as I'm stripping it down, there's some things you need, like these for example, which is the battery connection, you can see they're positive and, and negative. You need to click on the soldering iron and you just need to just just give it a quick, like that, and then uh, that needs it as well. Yeah, so you can see there, that's just using your soldering iron to desolder. And then obviously these things you can just pull out with, with your hands or tweezers or whatever. Okay, right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, now everything's taken out, right? Uh, you're in dis dis disassembly uh, mode still. So now we can go on to say, okay, let's check the tape case. We can inspect it. Okay, that's good. And then you go through and the engine, or oh, it should be the motor, shouldn't it? That's broken. They, that's on visual inspection. You don't actually need to check it as in with the multimeter or anything. Uh, for somehow or other, you can see that that is, is broken inspect. Okay, they're all good. And it's random what's broken have an inspection of that now then this one you can't check visually you need to check with the multimeter this is where some of the fun comes into play you can spin it around like that and basically what you need to do is check each of the components to make sure uh, that all the components are either either good or or bad yeah so we just work through it that way okay okay so uh, it's just capacitor unknown oh because I'm not on the multimeter that's why Okay, that's broken straight off the bat, yeah? So here we go, just checking all these. And you can do it in sections if you get confused about <clears throat> what, what you've checked and what you haven't. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you can do it in sections or you can just do the whole everything together, yeah? I mean, it, they don't stay green. You have to hover over them. And with the Bing, in some cases, there's a lot of these uh, capacitors and resistors and everything. So it can get a little bit uh, a bit tedious. But everything so far apart from uh, those two earlier ones yeah that says unknown that says on un oh, that's good that's bad and that's good uh, did we get everything uh, well we'll soon find out won't we so that's bad so to take that off you just basically go into the solder mold again uh, do that and that take it off click on it again 
it says you want to buy this part for eight dollars yes I do bang there you go and there's all my cash disappearing fix that and if it if you can't unsolder it or you're not allowed to if you know what I mean then it won't tell you uh, it won't allow you to do that this one was broken as well wasn't it so all we need to do with this one is zap that take that off seven dollars for that that's fine thank you very much sometimes you've got to switch to tweezers if it's a very small a very small part uh, I think these might need tweezers to take off so we do that we do that and then can I grab it no there you've got to switch to your tweezers <clears throat> rip it off like that put a new one in which is six dollars that's bloody expensive that isn't it for a capacitor right you see it still says unknown down here you see that and that's because we've missed uh, diagnosing one of these parts and I don't remember which so all I'm going to do real quick is just find out which one it was we didn't diagnose because there you go it's that one see now it's gone to good we just missed that little one before okay so now we can start to rebuild well not rebuild it now what we need to do now is go to anything else we have not yet checked in this list for example the battery let's inspect the battery battery is good so we don't need to replace that tape case inspect that that's good generally the, the, the you know the bits and pieces that you know the main structure of the item is generally good yeah and you don't need to mess around with it tape reader I don't know that might be okay that's broken you can apparently you can see that without uh, even testing it I don't know how that's possible here you just need to replace and you just buy the new part for ten dollars and that's it the speaker uh, that's also good apparently he checks out without even testing it the tape case again th these are usually okay yeah so that's everything done now uh, the, so the engines broken so we're going to uh, replace that one as well uh, that's fifteen dollars bloody hell this is getting quite an expensive little thing isn't it okay and now it's just a reversal of disassembly you just go into assembly mode and it starts you off and then you just build up from there uh, again if you get stuck of what to put in you know you can you can just because there is quite a few things on this like I said and then once we've built it up uh, we run the test on it and if it's good if there's nothing else broken on it which I can't see there should be here then you give it back to the customer so I'll be back shortly okay obviously one thing you'll need to uh, resolder these little bits back in you know when we took them off previously you'll just need to give them a, a quick uh, a quick uh, tweak with the soldering iron again just to, to reconnect them to the board these I can't do yet oh I can maybe there we go then that one as well okay just just uh, can catch you out sometimes okay uh, so everything's been put back together the only thing that's not realistic about this is there's nothing left over <laughs> all right test the device Oh, that that sounds a bit rough, doesn't it? Uh, is that is that considered fixed? Bloody hell! I'd be a bit upset if that was fixed. But that's eighty dollars, uh, so that's not bad actually, because some of these jobs they can take some time, and you don't really get that much back. Hey, have you noticed this? By the way, is it this? They've used the Yamaha up here. I wonder if that's licensed or not. And this thing, what does this do? I keep turning it every now and again. Uh. I've no idea why it does. I guess it's some sort of water, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, as you see, I'll have, I'll have got more jobs coming in. Uh, and whenever you see these little things here, uh, it means it's on the repair bench. So they're nice jobs to do. Uh, one I'm going to be doing next, I think, is this one. This Look how crazy that woman looks. Take the lights away. I'm sorry, the lights are so strong, they make me irritable. What? Oh, she's a nutbag. Anyway, okay, not to worry. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was uh, informative and just fun, maybe. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll catch you later. Jack is out.